Let's now take a look at the student experience of using messages. Students using shared devices will not have access to messages. Family members will still be able to message with the teacher even if the class is set to share devices. Students need a one-to-one -one sign in or a home learning code to use messages. Students access messages next to their name in the upper left-hand corner. The inbox tab is now the notification tab and is where students will receive notifications about new activity in their class journal. Students in multiple Seesaw classes will see all messages from all classes here. As a measure of student safety, students can only participate in conversations started by teachers and school leaders. Depending on administrator settings, students can directly message their teacher with questions, participate in group chats started by their teacher, and participate in discussions with their teacher and connected family members. To create a message, students simply tap the paper and pencil icon, type in their teacher's name, type their message, attach anything using the multimodal tools, and tap send. Students can reply to all messages that are sent to them. Here is how students can filter messages. They tap all messages and filter by class they are in to just view messages associated with a particular class. Now that you know how students can use messages in Seesaw, how will messages allow you to support student learning? Take a minute to think about this. Now that you have learned how students use messages in Seesaw, continue to part three to learn about the family experience of using messages.